वेलकम टू साइंस स्टोर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस forget to like our video and subscribe our youtube channel for all the updates hello dear students and welcome to cet ge classes of relations and functions in today's class we will solve a few examples uh, which are connected to the relations uh, in the previous class we have solved uh, the examples of uh, uh, cartesian products well so uh, let's go through the first question let a is equal to 1 2 and 3 the total number of distinct relations that can be defined over a is all right now understand the concept clearly here uh, you have been given only one set so first uh, what do you need to do is write cartesian product so this is uh, 1 comma 1 and 1 comma 2 One comma three, then you have two comma one, two comma two, two comma three, and then three comma one, and uh, three comma two, and three comma three. So I, I'm sure you know uh, by now how to write the Cartesian product. If only one set is given, you have to take the set again and then uh, write all the possible ordered pairs. Now, uh, what is the total number? What is the total number n a cross a? So that is m n. Actually, in this case, if this is uh, m, then this will be m square. Correct. So that is three square, which is nine. Next, uh, what is a relation? Relation is the subset. Relation is the subset of uh, a cross a. So totally, how many subsets possible? How many subsets are possible? So P of a is the set of all subsets of a cross a. So totally, how many subsets are possible? Two raised two, this number. So two raised two, m square. So this is the formula. If there is only one set that is given, okay. So totally, how many uh, subsets possible? Two to the power nine, and that is the first option. So number of subsets is equal to number of relations. Number of relations because every relation is a subset of the Cartesian product a cross a. Now, uh, quickly look at this question. If n of a is equal to m, then number of relations in a. So that will be. 2 raised to m square, 2 raised to m square. All right. So these questions are similar. Uh, you will see uh, how they are similar. Uh, so uh, please understand this concept. What is the relation? Relation is the subset. How many relations possible? Same as number of subsets. So number of relations is equal to number of subsets. So keep that in mind. So the formula is to find Uh, the number of relations is nothing but the formula to find number of subsets number of elements in the power set of the cartesian product not the subsets of a subsets of the cartesian product a cross a so number of relations is equal to the number of subsets of a cross a well uh, good so uh, that completes third So two raised to m square. Now look at second question. If the number of elements in the set A and B are m and n, this is a typical problem. So, if number of elements in the set A is m and number of elements in the set B is n. How many elements will be there in A cross B? A cross B will have m n elements. Then what is the number of elements in the power set of A cross B? So that is nothing but 
2 raised to m n as simple as that correct so what is this number of elements in the power set of the cartesian product that is nothing but number of relations number of relations 2 raised to m n therefore the number of relations from a to b is 2 raised to m n now quickly come to this question now what is given n of a is 5 n of a is 5 and n of b is 7 so number of elements in a cross b is 5 into 7 which is 35 then number of relations so that is nothing but n of p of a cross b and that is nothing but 2 raised to 2 raised to m n actually but m n we have written that is uh, 5 into 7 so 2 raised to 35 so 2 raised to 35 is the right answer so these questions are very simple uh, based on just one formula that is number of subsets so number of relations from a to b is equal to the number of subsets of a cross b well uh, let's move on uh, to a few more uh, similar questions like this and then uh, we will solve other problems hello dear students and welcome to ctj classes of relations and functions uh, we have already begun to solve the problems of uh, relations and we will continue from question number five uh, now uh, let us understand the question let n of a is equal to 8 n of b is equal to p then the total number of non-empty relations that can be defined from a to b is well so uh, this is clear n of a is equal to 8 and uh, n of b is equal to p then what is the number of elements in the cartesian product the formula is mn so now it will be 8 p m and n multiplied well now number of relations see what is number of relations 2 raised to mn correct so that's the formula we have got now what is mn 8 p so this is total number of relations but now what you need is non-empty you need non-empty relations see understand in a relation you may have an empty relation also what is the relation it is a subset of a cross b a cross b has some ordered pairs and when you write the subset of a cross b the first subset that comes is the null set correct the first subset that comes is the null set see uh, let me write for example uh, a cross b has uh, 1 comma 1 and uh, 1 comma 2 just two elements let me say then uh, what are the different subsets you will have the first subset is null set then the second subset is the singleton set and the third subset is again singleton and the fourth subset is a cross b itself that 1 comma 1 and 1 comma 2 both together all right so these are the four subsets that are possible only four because you have mn is equal to 2 2 raised to 2 is 4 so the first subset is the null set and this is the relation this is another relation third relation and the fourth relation totally four relations possible for this okay so from a to b only four relations are possible and out of that one is a empty relation and all others are non-empty relations so if you need the number of non-empty relations that will be 4 minus 1 that will be 4 minus 1 all right so using the same logic what is number of non-empty relations it will be 2 raised to 8p minus 1 so number of non-empty relations is equal to 2 raised to 8p minus 1 
so 2 raised to 8p minus 1 is the number of non empty relations so if you had uh, only relation here the answer would be 2 raised to 8p okay so now if it is non empty therefore 2 raised to 8p minus 1 well so that's enough for uh, number of relations now let's move on to the next uh, concept that is domain range and uh, you have a relation also well so just understand the question uh, let a be the set of first 10 natural numbers so what is the set a a is the set of first 10 natural numbers so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 well uh, so if a is the set of first 10 natural numbers and let r be a relation in a so r is the relation defined on a there is no set b so relation is a subset of a cross a a cross a now r is defined like this in the set builder form so set of all x comma y where such that x plus 2y should be 10 and x and y belong to the natural numbers uh, well now you are defining the relation on a on a you cannot exceed you cannot exceed this okay obviously you cannot exceed because the highest possible is 10 there and uh, you cannot go till 10 also let's see okay so what are the different elements of this relation first of all can you take one here okay so what you have is x plus 2y is equal to 10 now you should select different values of x so where do you go you go to the natural numbers because x belongs to the natural numbers in other words x belongs to a itself okay you have to select x and y from a itself because the relation is defined from a to a okay so only from a to a you cannot have n to n here okay that's how it is defined relation in a relation in a so what do i do in place of x i'll take one i'll take one then what is my y so that i get 10 do you get any value there see you take any value here eventually this will be even even plus odd cannot be even correct you take uh, 2 here 4 plus 1 5 that will be odd you take 3 here 6 plus 1 7 you take uh, 4 here 8 plus 1 9 you take 5 here 10 plus 1 11 you will never get 10 you take any value here you can take any value so the uh, understanding is that you cannot take one at all if you take one you won't get any number here okay therefore what you need to do you skip that one go to two then okay the second number now if you take two what will be this number yeah this has to be four so y has to be four so two comma four will satisfy that equation correct well next uh, next uh, you put uh, 3 can you put 3 we are saying we cannot put odd numbers here odd plus even because this is always even multiplied by 2 therefore this quantity 2y is always even number so this cannot be odd so this has to be even okay so you have to put 4 now so when you put 4 what is the number you can put here 4 plus 6 no therefore this can be 3 so 4 comma 3 is the next number next uh, you can put 6 so if you put 6 uh, this should be 4 therefore y has to be 2 so 6 comma 2 is the next now if you go to 8 uh, 8 plus 2 into 2 into 1 so that also will be 10 so 8 comma 1 also will be there so y also belongs to a therefore you can select y as 1 no 
problem now if you take 10 now then this has to be 0 but 0 is not natural number 0 is not natural number correct both x and y belong to natural and specifically they belong to a so 0 is not found in a natural number therefore this is not possible you cannot take y as 0 well therefore only these possibilities are there four things now look at uh, the first option so first option is 2 comma 4 4 comma 3 6 comma 2 8 comma 1 so that matches uh, perfectly therefore a is the answer now uh, why b cannot be the answer let's check what is the meaning of a domain domain is the first elements of the ordered pairs in the relation first elements 2 4 6 and 8 so 2 4 6 and 8 right so that is also true see this is true relation this is correct and what about second domain is also true domain is also true 2 4 6 8 now let's check range what about the range range is the second elements so 1 2 3 4 so second element is also correct okay the range is 1 2 3 4 correct uh, order doesn't matter when you write the set order does not matter only thing you should not repeat the elements that's it okay so 1 2 3 4 this is also true therefore which of the following is false which of the following is false none of these is false all the three are true so i hope you understood by this question the thing is the thing is how do you write the relation in the roster from from the set builder and what is the domain and range by the way what is the codomain codomain is the full second set so 1 2 3 till 10 is the codomain anyway that is not in the question so this uh, makes clear the relation domain and range and uh, the codomain well uh, let's move on to the next question uh, well look at question number 7 all uh, right uh, relation r is defined in the set z of integers so you have negatives zero and positives uh, integers uh, as follows x comma y belongs to r if and only if x square plus y square is equal to 9 then which of the following is false is the question see if you write the relation in the traditional method you should write this way this is set of all x comma y that means x comma y belongs to r if and only if such that x square plus y square is equal to 9 this is the proper way of writing the relation in the set builder form but they have written in this way that is also accepted x comma y belongs to r if and only if this uh, equation is satisfied so uh, that also means the same well now let us check uh, which of the following is false first of all what is z so z has uh, uh, infinite elements correct so that is z now we have to select the elements in place of x and y from z so let me select one element here for example i'll select zero so if i put zero see what i am doing is i'll go to zero then one then two three then i'll come back okay or after zero i'll go to minus one then one minus two two like that so i should start somewhere right so i can't start with negative infinity and then move on so it's not possible therefore i'm starting at the middle here so if it is natural numbers we can start from the beginning well now uh, you put zero here so you have x square plus y square is equal to 9 now if i put 0 here 0 square is 0 itself so what will be y square so that is 3 square therefore what is y 3 so 0 comma 3 belongs to the relation then next i'll put 1 so if i put 1 here 1 square is 1 itself correct now what number do i get in place of y okay so you take it a y itself now y square is equal to 9 minus 1 which is 8 so y square is equal to 8 therefore what is y do you get anything no you get y is equal to plus or minus square root of 8 2 root 2 
but two root two does not belong to the integers. That's a real number. That's a real number. Uh, basic, uh, yeah. Uh, enough. You don't get any y. Therefore, you cannot put one. Basically, that's the understanding. Therefore, go to the next number. Imagine you are putting minus one now. See, we have taken zero. We have taken one. Now I am taking minus one. So if I put minus one, minus one square is also one. So again the same thing. That does not belong to the integers. If it does not belong to the integers, you can't write that in the relation because these x and y belong to the integers because the relation is defined on the set of integers. Well, so again minus one also you cannot put. Therefore, go to the next number. You put two. So. If you are putting two here, then two square is four. Correct. So what is y square? Nine minus four, which is five. Once again, y is root five. Does not belong to the integers. Now, if you put minus two, also the same case because minus two square is also same. Then, uh, what about uh, three? Yeah. So if you put three. If you put three here, then three square is nine, nine minus nine, which is zero. Therefore, y is zero. Correct. So this will be zero square. So this is accepted. This is accepted. Now, do you think of anything else? Can you put four? Four square is sixteen. So if this itself is sixteen, then what should be y square? Y square is always positive. You cannot subtract anything. You just have to add. Okay, you just have to add. See, understand. So that is nine minus sixteen. So that will be negative, correct? And root of it is imaginary, not even real. So that does not happen. Therefore, only these two elements will be there. So, uh, do you have uh, minus three? Yes. So we have forgotten that. I'm sorry. So what about three? Three is accepted. What about minus three? Yeah. So minus three, if you put, then minus three square is nine plus zero. That is accepted. What about zero comma minus three? Zero comma minus three. So zero comma minus three is also there. Zero comma minus three is also there because if you put zero here, minus three square is nine. That also satisfies. So first option is true. We have to check which is false. Now, what is a domain? What is a domain? See, domain is the first elements of the ordered pair in the relation. So, what are the first element? You have zero, you have three, you have minus three as well, and again zero is repeated. Don't write it again. So, in the set, you should write an element only once. Do not repeat the elements in the set. Well, what is the range? So domain is true, okay, correct. Uh, range. What is the meaning of a range? Range is the second element. So you have three, zero repeated, and minus three. So again minus three, zero, and then three. So that's the range. So third option is also true. Therefore, which is false? None of these. Once again, the same uh, kind of question. So. With these two questions, I'm sure you have understood how to write the relation in the roster form and how to identify the domain and range. So thank you for watching. Uh, next class, we will continue to solve few more examples of relations, and then we will start with the next concept of functions. Once again. Hello, dear students, and welcome to CTG classes of uh, relations and functions. Uh, well, uh, we have already solved a few questions based on the concept of uh, Cartesian product and relations and we will continue uh, and uh, uh, solve a few questions connected to the concept of relations. Uh, well, let R be a relation in N. N means natural numbers defined by R is equal to set of all x comma y x uh, such that x plus 2y is equal to 8. We have solved a similar question. x plus 2y is equal to 10. Uh, it's just like that. Uh, but here you have to find the range. The question is to find the range. And that's a very uh, simple question. Uh, we will do it uh, quickly. 
all right so uh, what do you need to select in place of x you put one if you put one that will be odd and 2i is always even even plus odd will not be even therefore think about 2 here okay so if you take 2 then this would be this would be 6 uh, no not 6 3 so 2 into 3 6 plus 2 so that will be 3 so if you put 2 here this has to be 3 correct and uh, these belong to the natural numbers therefore you cannot tell uh, select uh, negatives okay it should be always positive uh, enough uh, what about the next thing you can put here three you cannot put one you have put two can you put three you cannot put odd numbers so put four if you put four here then y will be y will be two because two into two four plus four it will be eight and then uh, you can put six here see if you put six uh, then this has to be 1 2 into 1 is 2 plus 6 and if you put 8 here this will be 0 but 0 does not belong to natural numbers you cannot uh, write that ordered pair so this is the relation now what is the meaning of range range is the set of second elements so that is 3 to 1 1 2 3 so 1 2 3 is the range what is the domain by the way 246 so 246 is the domain actually but since we need range the right option is second option that is option b uh, well uh, let's move on to the next uh, example uh, that is 9 uh, you have the relation r uh, defined on the set a 1 2 3 4 5 and how it is defined uh, see uh, you have uh, mod x square minus y square is less than 16 okay so modulus modulus makes everything positive you know the modulus function correct okay so if you do not know we will revise that also uh, by the uh, for the time being you remember this should be always positive the answer uh, the output should be always positive anyway now uh, look at uh, the relation what are the elements you can put what are the elements you can put you can put the elements from the set a 1 2 3 4 5 now for example in place of uh, in place of x uh, you put 1 and uh, what will be y what will be y so that this is always uh, less than 16 so if you put 1 here you will get 0 and that will be uh, less than uh, uh, 16 so what is modulus of 0 0 itself so that is accepted and if you put 2 if you put 2 2 square 2 square is uh, see if you put uh, uh, 2 square that will be 4 1 minus 4 will be 3 correct so that will be minus 3 but modulus makes it positive that is also less than 16 and you can put uh, 3 square the next number okay and uh, that is like 1 minus 9 minus 8 but mod is there therefore plus 8 and that is also less than 16 and you can put uh, 4 square so 4 square is 16 1 minus 16 is see this is all square but since it is 1 it will be always uh, uh, 1 square will be always 1 itself so therefore uh, it doesn't make a difference now uh, 1 minus 16 is minus 15 but mod is there therefore 15 so you can put 1 comma 1 x comma y we need so 1 comma 1 and then uh, 1 comma 2 1 3 and 1 4 can you put 5 no uh, 5 is there in a but still you cannot put 5 because 5 square is 25 1 minus 25 is minus 24 modulus will be plus 24 and 24 is not less than 16 therefore you cannot have 1 comma 5 let's move on to the uh, next number you can put 2 uh, see if you put 2 here then 2 square is 4 and what will be y uh, let's say you can put 1 correct so uh, that is equal to 4 minus uh, 1 that is 3 and 16 modulus of 
3 is 3 itself then uh, with 2 you can have uh, 2 square also that will be 0 and then if you put uh, 3 square so that is also accepted because 4 minus 9 will get 5 and then uh, uh, 4 minus uh, 16 that is 12 minus 16 but modulus is there therefore it will be plus okay uh, then uh, with the 2 can you put 5 can you put 5 so 5 square is 25 4 minus 25 is minus 21 that will be plus 21 modulus so it is not uh, possible you will get 21 which is not less than 16 correct so therefore uh, you can have 2 comma 1 and then uh, 2 2 2 3 and uh, you can have uh, 2 4 you cannot have 2 5 okay uh, similarly you can go with the 3 now you can go with the 4 5 and so on now look at the options you have 1 1 2 1 3 1 4 1 uh, 2 3 correct can you have 4 1 yes of course you can have 4 1 but uh, look at it uh, do you have 2 2 see uh, 2 2 in the first option there are many more many more we have not written everything see 2 2 is not present therefore this cannot be the option 2 2 is present but what is not present is 1 1 1 2 and all 1 1 is not there 1 2 is not there so we are how to write all the elements of the relation so that is also not the answer here also you don't have 1 2 1 1 2 2 and so on that is also not the answer therefore none of these we have not written everything but with this itself we can judge which are not the uh, uh, which are not the right uh, options for us okay therefore the remaining is none of these and that's the right option otherwise you can keep uh, writing it it's not infinite okay you can select only one two three four and five so you can go up to five but it will take a lot of time with this itself we have decided that these three cannot be the answers hence it is the fourth option well uh, moving on to the question number 10 correct yes you have understood that yes now uh, 10 the domain and range of the relation are given by r is equal to see i'll write this again because it is uh, uh, broken here and it is continued here therefore i'll write uh, in one stretch so that it makes sense to you okay so this is a uh, y and that is x uh, plus 6 by x and uh, both x and y belong to natural numbers and uh, what should be less than 6 x so x must be less than 6 uh, well you have got the options uh, and those options are domain and range okay domain and range are found in the options and we have to select the right option so we will write what is the relation here that will give you the idea of domain and range what is the domain first element in the ordered pair in the relation correct okay similarly range is the second elements uh, of the ordered pair in the uh, relation well so we'll write the relation we will get the ordered pairs then you can select the first element domain second elements the range that's it okay so understand you have to select x and y from the natural numbers there is no condition for y there is a condition for x so in place of x you must put element uh, natural numbers which are less than 6 so you can put 1 2 3 4 and 5 so uh, what is the formula we have yes now you put x is equal to 1 so if you put x is equal to 1 what is y so that is 1 plus 6 which is 7 so that is uh, 1 comma 7 and if you put 2 so y is equal to 2 plus 6 by 2 that means 2 plus 3 that is 5 so you can have 2 comma 5 then if you put 3 if x is equal to 3 
देन y इज इक्वल टू थ्री प्लस सिक्स बाई थ्री करेक्ट सिक्स बाई थ्री इज टू टू प्लस थ्री अगेन फाइव सो दैट इज थ्री कोमा फाइव एंड वॉट इज विद फोर सो इफ यू पुट एक्स इज इक्वल टू फोर कैन यू पुट एक्स इज इक्वल टू फोर येस फोर इज लेस देन सिक्स वी कैन एंड वॉट विल बी वाई वाई इज लाइक फोर प्लस सिक्स बाई फोर सो सिक्स बाई फोर इज थ्री बाई टू सो वॉट डू यू गेट एट प्लस थ्री लेवन बाई टू बट डज इट बिलोंग टू द नेचुरल नंबर्स सी वी हैव अ कंडीशन फॉर वाई इट्स नॉट लेस देन एनीथिंग बट इट शुड बी अ नेचुरल नंबर वाई शुड बिलोंग नाउ दिस डज नॉट बिलोंग टू नेचुरल नंबर देर फॉर यू कैनॉट राइट एनीथिंग हियर यू हैव टू राइट वाई फ्रॉम द नेचुरल नंबर्स ओनली यू कैनॉट सेलेक्ट अ रैशनल नंबर दे फॉर यू कैनॉट टेक फोर सो लेट्स गो विद फाइव लेट्स गो विद फाइव एंड सी वॉट वी गेट सो इफ यू गो विद फाइव You are getting y is equal to five plus six by five. Again, twenty-five uh, plus six, thirty-one by five. You will get correct. So thirty-one by five is again not a natural number. Therefore, you cannot write five comma something. You can't take six because x must be less than six. So in place of uh, uh, x, you cannot take six. Okay, and seven, and eight, and so on. So stop here. This is the elements. These are the elements of the relation. Now it is very easy to write the domain and range. See what is the domain here? The first elements one, two, and three, and then uh, what is the range? The range is the range is uh, the second elements. You have seven and five. Don't write again. Only once. Keep that rule. Okay. Don't repeat the elements in the set. Okay. So we list all the possible elements without repeating them. Well, therefore, now decide which is the right option for you. One, two, three is the domain. Seven, five, seven is the range. Seven, five is the range. Same. Okay. Seven, five or five, seven. But this cannot be the answer because you don't have one in the domain. You don't have three in the domain. That is also not the answer. Uh, here you have everything fulfilled. Therefore, the first option is the right answer. Well, so uh, that is about finding the domain and range. So now I hope you are well versed with the writing the relation from the set builder form. and then identifying the domain and range so let's move on to the next concept don't forget to like our video and subscribe our youtube channel for all the updates